September 1st. And guess what? It's my birthday month. So, yeah, y'all, I want to get that out the way. Hey, y'all, it's D. So, I come here today to share my side income budget for the month of August. So, yeah, we're just going to get into this video. But first, I did want to share with you some happy mail that I received today, actually. And this is in preparation of 2024. Yes, I am currently preparing for what I'm going to do. What I ordered will help me in 2024. And I will go into more details in a later video. So, y'all. Ta-da! So, I got me a another binder. And this one is like one I already have. This one right here, but a different color and texture on the actual binder. But I do really like this style of binder. And, of course, y'all know I had to get it in purple. And it is so pretty to me. And I got it from Katie. And her Etsy shop is Purple Glimmer Budgets. She is not on YouTube. I don't think I did not see the information within her Instagram account. But she is on Instagram. Um, she was so gracious with me to let me order just a binder because I had plenty of envelopes from my other binder that I had. So yeah, y'all stay tuned to see how I will be using my new binder with you the journey that I'll be taking in 2024 with this beauty. Thank you so much, Katie, for my side income. This is a budget worksheet from my budgeting and savings planner i do it's available on d's digital world my youtube store and my buy me a coffee shop all of that is always linked down below if you are interested so when i do my side income budget i do not budget how much i am expecting to get because i never know so in the actual portion of this worksheet in August for Amazon, and this was for my books I have available on Amazon. This is actually one of them right here, my mini savings challenge book. All of my books are listed down below in the description area. I have updated that part of my video. So if you're ever in interested in anything that I use within my video, it is usually down in the description box. For Amazon, for the month of August, I was able to earn a total of $6.44. So thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting my books that I have. I have a total of five books available on there. And for my apps, and this is just the cash portion of my apps. In my mortgage payoff updates, I will disclose the full amount that I receive via gift cards and cash. But this right here is only the cash version. And that was $56.33. All of the apps that I use are down below also. And I'm also doing a series for my members. And I'm going over each app that I use in great detail. So if you're interested in that, you can join my membership for $1.99 to gain access to that. For Buy Me A Coffee, I was able to make $4.72. And for Etsy, I was able to make $5.34. And nothing from YouTube. Y'all, I am working on getting my 1,000 subscribers, so I'm hoping by the end of this month, I will have my 1,000 subscribers so I can become fully monetized here on YouTube and start getting paid for the ads. I do have a little over $20 right now on hold for YouTube that I gained from memberships and supers. So thank y'all, thank y'all so much for supporting me thus far on this journey. Uh, now let's add up and see what I was able to make for the month. So 644 plus 56.33 plus 4.72 plus 5.34. And that is a total of $72.83. So I'm very appreciative of that. I do not have any expenses, so I'll be skipping this section right here. The next 
Okay, in this bill section, I will be going over what I am allocating towards bills for this actual income. I, I pay my tithes with my other incomes and I don't share how much I pay in tithes or giving. Um, that's just something I decided to keep personal. So in this section for my mortgage, I was able to put a total of $56 towards my principal. And yeah, y'all, um, y'all know I'm excited for that. I'm mortgage free by the, this time next year, I'm just done with it. <laughs> so in this bill section, since I allocated $56 in this section, I'm so now I'm going to take my total income from this section, which was $72.83 and take away this $56 from my bill section. And that leaves me a total of $16.83. Okay. Now let's go over the savings and investing section. I'm currently not focusing on renovation, household, or car repairs. Those will be funded when I actually finish a savings challenge since my income is a lot less than what I'm used to currently. So today I'll be allocating a total of two dollars and 77 cents to my treat yourself account and this is the account that i will use once i get my mortgage paid off to do whatever i whatever my heart desires i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but yeah um and for its d it will be getting a total of twelve dollars and six cents and this is my account that i use for my brand here on YouTube, Instagram, and what have you. I do have my PO box coming up, so I'm trying to save up enough money so I won't have to cash flow that from my personal budget. So $12.06 is going to debt, and I will be allocating a total of $2 to go towards saving challenges. So now let's add up the savings and investing section. So that's 2.77 plus 12.06 plus two, and that is a total of $16.83. Now up here, you saw I had a remaining balance of $16.83. Now I like to budget using a zero-based budgeting method, and what that means to me is that I allocate all of my funds that I receive for that particular time period to a particular area within my budgeting categories this does not mean that i do not have any money within my bank account because i do keep some money in my bank account people refer to it as a cushion or a buffer so yeah that's what it that is what zero based budgeting means to me so we're going to take this 1683 from the 1683 i had left over and of course that is a zero dollar allocation yeah you here down here right here is the breakdown so you can double check and make sure that you actually did calculate your budget correctly so as stated before my income right here was 72.83 i'm going to put that right here my bill section which was my mortgage was 56 dollars my expenses was nothing and my savings and investing section was $16.83. So I'm going to take the 72.83 minus the 56 minus the 16.83. And that equals a $0 allocation. Y'all, thank y'all so much who have helped me in the month of August to reach my 4,000 watch hours. I am still holding steady. With the watch hours, uh, our hours do get removed once they get over 365 days, but I do still have a couple people who graciously are still running my playlist until I get fully monetized. So I thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. I can't thank y'all enough. And thank you so much for your encouraging words that you have been leaving on my videos since I've been quite transparent about me not making as much money as i am used to and you know things are just tight right now and i'm just doing what i need to do to get my bills paid Alrighty, so next i would like to show you my no spend challenge and 
for the remainder of the year until I get my mortgage paid off. I will be spending basically on nothing unless I absolutely need it as much as possible. So currently my no spends consists of no snacks and self checkout. And I'm excited to say I had a full month of no spins and if you're interested in this tracker right here it is available on my buy me a coffee shop link down below so and i have not been eating out so i know i will be eating out for my birthday but that money is already set aside and i know my sister is probably gonna take me out to eat but after that your girl i'm about to go bare bear all the way bare bones budget so i can get this mortgage gone yeah, yeah. all right now we'll be going over my penny challenge and if you are new here i am using this to track the change that i actually find on the ground now i am excited to announce that several people who watch my videos have also been looking for a change on the ground and i am so excited that i have been able to motivate other people to look for the change is it a lot of money no but every bit adds up y'all so as of august 31st i have found on the ground 17 dollars and 16 cents so now think about it if you see some change penny nickel dime quarter whatever on the ground do you just leave it on the ground or do you pick it up i pick it up sanitize right afterwards of course but could you use an extra 17 dollars and 16 cents ask yourself that next time you see some change on the ground and let me know down below what is your um theory on that so i did get this from beautifully me and you she does have this free available on her channel in her description box so yeah it's not any rush to do this challenge i really want to know how much i'm able to collect within a year with just picking up random change off the ground as i stated and in vending machines self-checkout areas wherever <laughs> i think there could be some spare change your girl looks you hear me so yeah y'all uh that is it's about my video and I want to say thank you, thank you again to everybody who has been supporting my journey. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a hashtag mini because I'm going to be using mini saving challenges to help me save money since I do not have a lot currently to save. And don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you all right y'all i'm out bye